Hello, pre-lovers. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage, where we talk quality thrifting and all things fancy. And can I tell you, I'm exhausted. I actually did three videos prior to making this one using my new microphone. And I didn't turn the microphone on. the whole time. I think I was holding that microphone for well over an hour and 15 minutes making content and I did not turn the microphone on. Let's not talk about it anymore. But anyways, I actually came from last night. I went out with some friends to see a um, to see John the Violinist, and it was a really good show. I'm gonna put I'm gonna insert some of the the show that we saw. It was really good, and I kid you not, all I was thinking about is how I found out that I didn't turn that microphone on during my taping because I started editing before I left out to go to the show. And literally that was the only thing that was on my, my mind for a good 20 minutes of the show. But nonetheless, I did another thrift haul and I wanted to share some of my new finds combined with the finds that I was doing with my taping. So it's not a lot, but 
I can tell you that I got some candles. I got some Lux candles and you guys know if you've been watching me, I love finding um, luxury candles at the thrift. And I'm coming to find that with this particular thrift store, Red, White & Blue, you guys know I always talk about this thrift store, that they, it, they're privately owned and I believe that they have connected with certain businesses. So we'll get the like the, the the disclosed, not the disclosed, what, a, what am I, um, not like the irregular, but yeah, like the irregular pieces or items that haven't been sold, we'll get like the last of their stuff. But when I talk about irregular, like even like this brand new candle, look, brand new candle from Anthropology, I see on the back that it does have the Anthropology tag, right? This is like a $40 candle, but I say it's irregular because the top doesn't clamp on. So even if you wanted to give it, buy this as a gift out of the actual store, it would close. This doesn't close. This doesn't close. It doesn't close like this. It's, it's like hard to close. So they gave it to the thrift store, I guess and marked it for $3. Mmm, <laughs> smells. This one is orange or rain flower. No, this is because Clancy doesn't have her glasses on. It says crane flower. Love this. And then the other candle I got, this one is by the same brand, Valespa. And this is the Crush Candy Cane. This one was $2 and this smells exactly like peppermint. This would be perfect to put like in my kitchen after cooking a meal or putting this in like a small bathroom. I really think that this perfumed camp candle would be really strong in a small room. So, and my last candle, the last candle I got, this one I think I'm really gonna like. This is Centel Vanilla. And I just love how dainty this is. Ugh. And I love Beluspa's uh, signature um, print on their candles. Love this. Can you see how it's designed? Yeah. Love this, Centel Vanilla. Okay, so then I went and looked at some accessories and I only found one that really stood out, but if you guys have been watching, I have been collecting like necklace bibs and this is the one that I found. Look at this one. This is like a faux pearl and I think this will be super cute when um, you can put this on like a solid t-shirt. See how it's clamped? And look, it just changes the look of, of an outfit. Obviously, it's kind of a clash with this printed knitted sweater, but if I wore like a black blouse or like a solid color top, this right here would just, I love this. I don't think it would sit up like the neck. I have, I'm pulling it up this way. I think I like it this way. Or wear it like a necklace. Let me know. Comment below. Let me know. Do you like it like actually like a bib? Or should I try to figure out a way to wear it more like a choker? I like this better too. I like it higher. It's very similar to something the other bib I got, I got this last week, but I love a little bling. I showed you guys this before, but this one right here, and this one has a little weight to it. You can put this with like a black or a white top, or you could wear it a little bit down. And you know, obviously it has a bow, so the tighter you want it, you can 
raise it up. But I love this. All right, close time. You know, I actually have been starting to transition into spring and actually start finding some lighter clothes, less knits. I mean, I did find a, a hoodie that I'm gonna sh um, show you guys, but for the most part, I'm looking for light pieces. And also, um, I wanted to share a suit. You know, suits are coming back. I don't even think they ever left, but I always tell people do not knock going through the men's department. I found this beautiful Jack Vin Victor um, suit, double, is it a, um, I found this Jack Victor's, Victor pinstripe suit. I'm gonna show you guys shortly, but let me tell you, I actually found this turtleneck sweat top, which when I, you guys cannot feel this, but this is the softest top I have ever felt. This is by the brand Sweaty Betty. And it's it's a it's a workout um, very similar to um, well it's not similar but it's along the lines of like uh, aloe, um, Lululemon, which we we're not we're not getting any more Lululemon right now. Um, but sweaty Betty, love how this is. And guys, this is a small, but I. I kept raising that up because you guys know I just put any size on me and I'll figure it out. But I just even like wearing this with like just black sweatpants or even jeans. It has a tie at the bottom. This kind of cinches you in from the waist. And I love that it's a like a lightweight turtleneck. This is so soft. This is so soft. And it's by, um, Sweaty Betty, made in Italy. I mean, the material, I I was so looking for pants to go with this. I was hoping that they mismatched it somewhere and put it on a different aisle. So there was one point that I was looking for, I was looking for the bottoms, but yes, love this top. Okay, this is my other, my other hoodie I found. This is by Emma and Sam. I actually found this sweatshirt before. Um, I found it in a solid gray, but it's like a chain. It's a it's a sweatshirt with rings in between it. You see how there's a see-through right here? But I thought this is super cute. I even like that the fact that it's tie-dye. Um, Super cute. Um, this is again by Emma Sam. And I found this in the men's department, which I have not been circling around until lately. I really feel like you can find a nice button down shirt. Uh, definitely um, love a good army fatigue top. But I feel like when I look at the sweatshirts there, it's just so many hoodies and sweatshirts. It's just overwhelming for me. But this actually stuck out. I actually saw the the links um, and I, I just grabbed it. I just went there. I just went and just grabbed it because I said, oh, this looks like a sweatshirt I had before. Um, but yes, this is by Emma Sam. Love this. Um, yeah, I have to... Um, I feel like I have like a closet full of stuff. It's, I have, I have all the, all that I need, but it's just so hard going to the thrift store and you find things that are very inexpensive and you just don't want to leave it. You don't want to leave it, you know, such as this $3 J Crew pleated silver skirt. Look at this. Isn't this metallic giving you so much energy? Look at this. I just love this. I couldn't leave it. I 
couldn't leave it. Can I fit it? I can't, but why would you leave something beautiful like this? I was even thinking of, can I eventually open this up and put like a little bit of elastic? Cause guys, when I say I can't fit it, this is like a size four. <laughs> this is like a size four, but it's just so pretty. I don't know. When I, when I put it up against myself right here, I say to myself, oh, I think I probably could fit it, but yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, and I really love a good metallic skirt. I, I found this vintage dress, gold dress. Um, if, I, if I have it, I'll show you guys. It was so beautiful. I sold it because I literally put it in my shop and someone purchased it like the following week. And I'm always thinking about that dress because it was a very small, I think it was a size two as well. And sometimes I just like buying things and just looking at them. Some of the things I fall short, short from. I know I always tell you guys, refrain from buying from the fast fashion stores, but guys, I found this really cute jacket. It is by the brand Sheen, and I, I like Sheen, I do. I just don't need a lot of it in my closet. Um, it is fast fashion, it's very trendy, but I just thought something like this could last a while. Look at this with the fringe. Don't we love a good fringe? You guys know I love fringe everything. I love fringe, I love things that shake and move. And it's like a faux suede jacket. Look at this. Guys, it was $6. $6. I could not leave it. I couldn't leave it. Because I can wear this in the spring. I could wear it now. Look at this. I love this. I just like how it just dangles. Super cute. So I can even wear this, or I could just wear this with all black. I, I think I could do a few things with this jacket. So I got this and what else did I get? Oh, you know what else that I was trying to look for? I'm starting to look for slacks and trousers. Um, these I found, I looked up on these guys. I found these for like $4 and these are brand new and they have the tags on them. These are by Amber Crombie and Fitch and these are retail. These are $90. Look, But these are just a nice lightweight. It has like a little pleated in the front. And you know what I like about these pants? They don't have a button. It's an elastic waist. So I can just, this is just easy comfort for me. I can just slide these on with a nice white top, a blazer. I think what I'm going to look for when I go back to the thrift store is something to another, like um, a blazer to match with this. Preferably like the same material. This is not linen. What is this? This is not linen but linen blend maybe but it's a wide leg it's 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 thin it's a thin pant but um i i think i'm gonna try to find either like a chocolate brown or a um a black pant like this you pretty much need just um four to five colors of a pant that you can just rotate during the week because you know, I have so much stuff. I need to start making them. 
I need to start making outfits out of my clothing instead of just having pieces in my closet. My other good find was this Bagley Mishka trench. And it's so nice and thin. I love, now don't get me wrong, you guys know I love collecting a really nice Burberry trench coat. Most of my trench coats are, I don't even wanna say most, all of them are all Burberry. But I found this beautiful coat and what I like about it is that it is, see how it just looks like, it feels like almost like a shirt. I just like how it has like this look lapel right here and then it also has a reversible belt it has a faux leather side and then it has uh just a regular side that matches the coat i just love stuff like this and you know what guys this is a i don't even know if you guys can see that it, it's a little it's oversized but it's not it doesn't look sloppy on me like the arms don't look sloppy. They're kind of fitted to my silhouette. But guys, this is a 2X. I'm telling you, this is the reason why when I go in the thrift store and I see all kinds of sizes, I ask myself, can I take it in? Can I pin it? Can I belt it? This right here, it's not bunchy like I can tie it this way and because of the belt you can make it like super tight so it fits my shape and it's not like a sloppy coat I don't even know it says 2x but you know Bagley Mishka and those high brand names brands they tend to Fit very small but yep it does it does say 2x on it and I love how it has the buttons right here the lapels really beautiful coat so the other thing I was talking about I found this beautiful suit I mean you guys know anything about Jack Victor suits? They range from a thousand to two, three thousand dollars. I don't even think. I think the cheapest I've seen a Jack Victor suit is for nine hundred and fifty dollars. I found this, and let me let me bring it closer to you guys. I found this beautiful pinstripe suit men's made in Italy look at it this is a beautiful pinstripe I mean just think about wearing this with the beautiful like red pump oh, little red tea inside maybe the red tea is like a mesh with a, a nice little like boosty bra underneath it mm. I can envision this outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna find all the, the pieces that I would, would to pull this off, but this right here is a beautiful suit. This is something that I'm gonna have to bring to my tailor so I can have it. Um, and you know, the oversized look is in. However, there's some pieces that I cannot wear oversized because I feel like it's gonna make me look sloppy. I got this suit for $20 and it's so worth it. Look at this. This is Jack Victor. Look at the buttons. I mean, the suit itself, you can just tell that this is a suit, okay? This is a suit and Sometimes I get worried about men's suits because I'm always worried about how the shoulders will look on me. But 
for the most part, and let me take, let me use my hefty duty stapler. For the most part, I try to I try to find a small suit. Oh, but look, it's look at that. Look at this. I just love how I think I'm gonna have this suit forever. This suit is just classic. Now I feel like it's just a little bit. I would like a little bit taken in, just a little bit. Or, you know, I can probably belt it. Look at that, you see it? Oh, can't wait to try try this on with the pants. I really think this is gonna be super cute. But yes, if you guys do not wanna spend a lot of money, especially if you're buying a suit for the first time, go to the thrift store. You will be amazed at the brands um, and the, uh, the quality of the suits that you would find in the thrift store. Um, I mean, sometimes you can even find a three-piece suit. I would love to find a three-piece suit that I can just, with a vest, and, you know, that's never too much. It's never too much for that. Oh, and you know what? Speaking about red, you know what I can wear with, with the suit? I can wear these beautiful red gloves. Look at these. I found these beautiful red gloves for $2.00. And you know, even if you are looking in the accessories, you will find a good pair of leather. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at these. Can you guys see this with, let me see. I'm like, I have to, I have to get the outfit together because, oh yes, look at this. Oh, I can see. I can see this, I can see this suit suiting. I can see it with a red top, red shoe, possibly a little brighter red lip. And that's all you need. That's all you need. I think I'm gonna try to find one more suit. This is a perfect, like even, oh, this is just so classic. So classic, I love this. Um, so I got the gloves. The other thing I found, I, I've been looking at like these little purses and I just love, I'm just still here, I'm still around for the small bag energy. I love it. I know big bags are coming back, but when I find like little bags like this, I love, this is perfect. This is perfect for a night out. The metal ring handles. I just love stuff like this. I feel like this is a dupe of something. I don't know what bag reminds me of this, but I love this material. I found another bag like this weeks ago and I just, I just love, I think it's quick. I think it's easy. I think you can ball this up and won't have any problems, especially if you're, you're trying to pack it for travel. But I thought this was super cute. And I don't even think there's a brand, brand on this. I think this is a no brand bag. Um, it's by, Mm -mm. No, I can't, can't see it. Quimbella, Quimbella, I think. All right, and this beautiful, guys, look at this beautiful ostrich leather. Oh, I love this. I think I really love the handles. I love a bag that gives me handles like this. And even though the, the, the handles right here like look a little bit worn, um, I can probably just condition these. I can also put like a really small like scarf around the handles to preserve the handles. Um, but also it comes with a crossbody strap. Oh, I love this. And this is, I want to say this is vintage Talbots. Remember the store? I mean, it's still around Talbots. 
but look at this it's beautiful i love something like this love this for the spring summer and look at the size of this i'm going to i'm doing it like this because obviously it's it's not in its same shape but i'm gonna have it stuffed so i can get it back to where it was and guys i think i paid i mean this is a beautiful bag i mean look at the bottom i love a good ostrich bag do you know how much something like this is in the stores like if it's not in the thrift store do you know how much these cost really really nice love this and then last, my last bag, speaking about the small energy bags, guys, you know I love finding things like this. Look at this. Love this. Little silver, little fun bag for you to, to go out in. It also has a chain for you to have crossbody. I mean, the thing is hands-free. You can go to the club you can go out to dinner put on your crossbody chain and put it on and you won't have to worry about leaving your bag behind love this guys if you enjoyed these finds i'm going to put some of these pieces up on the website 1013 vintage if you have not checked it out i would love for you guys to go over there and comment below let me know what things you would love for me to find or um, talk about if you guys are interested in me um, going out to more thrift stores and doing more blogging. Would love for you guys to share that. Thank you so much for commenting below and sending me emails and also mail. Someone sent me, and thank you so much for my subscriber that sent me the um, piece of art of um, of an afro. I love that because it reminds me of my hair. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys are interested in watching another video, click in one of these corners. And until then, I'll see you soon.